we'll look into insertion sort using the technique of recursion in Java. Before getting on with recursion and insertion sort, let me give you an idea of how this insertion sort actually works. Let's take an example. All right. So let's uh, have this array of size uh, five. All right. So uh, the array would be something like this 10, 8, 6, 2, and 11. All right. So this insertion sort output is obviously going to be a sorted elements. That's it. So how this actually works is that the element at ARR of 0 would be checked with ARR of i plus 1. Now here on checking, it is understood that 8 is less than 10. So those two elements get swapped in together. So the other elements just move one step further. So the resulting array is 8, 10, 6, 2 and 11. On to the second step is that what happens is that it checks 10 and it compares with 6. Since 6 is less than 10, alright. So, and then this 6 is less than 10 and on the next step, it again checks if 6 is less than 8. Yes, 6 is less than 8. So, on the following step, what happens is that 6 comes to the first place and all other elements move one step further. So, the resulting array is 6, 8, 8, 10, 2 and 11. On to the third step. Now, when it comes to the third step, what happens is it takes this element 10 and checks if 2 is lesser. Yes, 2 is lesser. And then it checks if 2 is less than 8. Yes, it is. And then it checks if 6 is less than 2. Yes, it is. So 2 comes to the first place and all other elements move a step further. 2, 6, 8, 10, and 11. Under the next step is that is that 10 element 10 gets compared with 11 yes it is smaller so the resulting array is 2 6 8 10 and 11 all right hope you've understood the logic behind how insertion sort actually works let's get into the problem let's import the functions import star import java dot util dot star yeah we'll have a main call function class called main and then we'll have it the main function public static void main and we'll have the arguments passed via string arguments and we'll throw io exception as well exception exception and then uh, we'll have a scanner class to get in the inputs scanner is easy, equals to new scanner system dot n as parameters and then we'll get in the size here so, net stint and then we'll have an arr size new end of n and then we'll get the array elements in i equals 0 i less than n and i plus plus and then ARR of i is equals to a c dot net stint and then uh, onto the next step we'll have a recursive function called recursive underscore insertion and we'll pass on uh, the array ARR and the size n and we'll create a function called public static uh, well let's have the return type as void uh, and then recursive insertion and we'll get in the array rr and the size again so the first step is uh, let's check on the condition if n is less than or equal to 1 we'll just return the array since uh, that's the only array that is going to be run that that doesn't need sorting so under the next step uh, we'll call this recursive function called recursive insertion and we'll pass the array and size minus 1 
and we'll have a value which is ARR of n minus 1 and then we'll have position which is n minus 2 and then we'll have a while loop uh, where we'll check with if position is greater than or uh, greater than or equal to 0 and another condition where error of position is greater than value in that case let's enter into the loop and then error of position plus 1 is equals to error of position the elements get swapped this is that condition uh, working over here and position is equals to position minus 1 yeah and then finally error of position plus 1 is equals to value yeah so i hope this works and then we'll have uh, we'll print out the array final array after sorting point i equals 0 and is then n and i plus plus uh, we'll have a system dot out dot print line System dot out dot print error of i plus we'll have a space to differentiate between the elements and let's check if it works that's compiling all right uh, so yeah we'll take the example array as, as such 10 6 8 2 and 11 all right so this is started uh, sorted let's check with another array of size 10 right through the increasing order 10 100 90 80 70 6 10 11 20 and it 10 let's check if it's supposed yes it's well done i hope you guys have understood what our insertion sort is using recursion uh, let's move on to the next one called bubble sort in the next video thank you have a great day